So we have our little I want to kind of mix them a little bit together so we get some blue down the bottom and some clear up the top. Okay, let's do this cubicle. Pat, 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 pat. Really pretty. And then what you want to do is you want to make sure that okay. So I really want to use some money, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to put that on the top of here for a minute. So, I am happy to tell everyone that I'm nearly at 50 subscribers, so thank you very much to all those returning subscribers and to anyone who's new here, hello and welcome to my channel for Nailed. I'm Belinda and thank you very, very much for all your support please remember you know to hit that like button it doesn't cost you anything and it just tells me that I'm doing okay and it's going to also show YouTube that you are interested in what I'm doing and it helps me out gratefully but not only that I just love interacting with you guys I wish it was more like you were directly here with me but kind of in a way you are because when you see this you are talking to me and I'm talking sort of back but at the moment I'm just looking like a crazy person to myself talking but um yeah I love doing this I love learning and just feeling like I've accomplished something when I finish a nail set is absolutely amazing to me and for that I <coughs> am eternally, eternally grateful. Okie dokie.
she is looking fine so i think we might put a clear cap on top of this now everyone says that the macart clear is the clearest poly gel but honestly i this Rosalind clear poly gel is honestly really truly clear like i'm not just saying that i don't i buy all these products with my own money i'm not getting endorsed by any language don't get paid to tell you bullshit and even if someone asked me to pay and get paid to lie you i wouldn't do it because i don't want to be lied to when i purchase a product i want to know that what people are saying is the truth unfortunately not everyone out there does that but there are a rare breed of us that do so i'm just going to sort of like encapsulate this a little bit oh, i should have put some more bloody damn butterflies in it doesn't matter hey everybody welcome back to my channel today i'm doing some poly gel with um a bunch of different poly gels majority of them are rosalind or my car they're the only two that i have so they're the ones that we use anyhow so today i am just doing a sparkling glitter set because i just feel like being sparkly and I've got some really pretty butterflies and some gorgeous little things that I want to encapsulate and different little glitters here. So what we will do is we will take some of these glitters that I would like to put in. I'm definitely going to do some special little colours that I want to share with you when we do them. So we'll put them there and we will undo them so you can see the colours. We have this beautiful, you probably can't see it, it's nothing compared to in person as you can imagine. But they are so reflective. I mean, look how the camera just glistens through them. So that's like a purplish pink with sort of like hexagonal pieces. I also have some little pre-mixed pieces in here with some butterflies, some little glass and shards and some purple glassy shards. I got these little butterflies in my little hole that I got with my stickers from iGel Beauty. So that was a little bit of a bonus. So I, was, I really like them. They're gorgeous. Who doesn't love butterflies? And they also put this pretty little mixed purple colour in as a little bit of an extra in my purchase so I am definitely loving that which is what we have in here so we are going to put them to the side and we are going to put them over here and first and foremost we are going to Oh my goodness, look at that green. It is, it looks 
Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, so pretty. I swear, I, I just, my heart just jumps for joy when I see glitter. Like, literally. Okie dokie. So, firstly, I need to, for starters, make this nail a little more structurally thicker. So, what we are going to do is, we are going to just squeeze an amount out onto the nail. And put the lid on it. And you want to make sure you keep your poly gels or any gel polishes for that matter away from your UV light because it will cure them. Just be mindful of that. Now, I am going to stick a little bit of the McCart top coat instead of base coat. I find that it just works a lot better. I still do use a little bit of the slip solution, but nothing as much as what I probably would get my little lint-free white ready so I can dab my brush. I'm just using the Rosalind brush today. I didn't want to sort of ruin my... Not that I'm going to ruin it, you know what I mean. <laughs> so anyway, we're just going to push that tap, tap into place. And of course you don't want to touch your cuticle area. But you also need to have enough product there to build your apex. So you want to pat that down. And then you should be able to gently just guide most of it down the nail. Make sure you get all the side walls covered. And just gently pat. And you really don't have to. This poly gel really is easy to work with. Honestly, like, I am uh, no way means a professional, especially in poly gel area. But I do think that it's a lot easier than what I would thought it would have been. And I'm actually really glad that I tried it. Okay, so my brush is starting to get a little bit sticky now, so I'm going to dip it back in and then I'm just going to continually to pat and make sure that I'm covering all of the nail and then I will take the nail this way and make sure that I'm keeping in with those side walls
just want to push this little bit into the cuticle area because I still feel that it might need a bit more of an apex but we'll see Okay, so, I don't want to keep touching it because the more I touch it, it'll probably... Hey everybody, so I'm back. I have buffed and shaped the nails and I have just wiped off with some alcohol. And I'm going to get under there really good. And then we are going to put our a bling on and then some top, I'm going to top coat um, them first with my first bit of top coat only because when she put um, certain gems on you, you can't top you don't want to top coat over them because it takes away the shine just love that when you first use your top coat after shaping them and you get that beautiful this is like a Kind of reminds me of a lovely lamp sort of sea glass thing. And I'm using my Kiara Sky non top white coat. Hang on, let's say that right. Non white gel top coat. So. So, I'm going to put them in for 60 seconds. So, once that's done, I will then go ahead and use these pretty butterfly charms I think I'm gonna go with the light bluey green and the blue one so I'm going to do that I was going to do some water decals but I just think that may be a bit too much so yeah I'm just gonna do some colored rhinestones and my little butterflies and that's it and then we're done so yeah so like I said you don't have to wipe this top coat once it's actually cured which is great so <laughs> it's one thing you don't sort of have to wipe all right let us get these beautiful butterfly gems and we will use my stuck to drill glue okay so usually i just use the um end of my it gone I just hate that when you, oh there it is my dotting tool that I don't actually use as a dotting tool yet 
So I just grab a bit of um that. Now the first one I'm going to put on the thumb and I think of course we're going to have to place it right here. So you want to just put enough glue on there. So you might just grab a bit more considering it is quite a big chunky butterfly. And then all you need to do is grab your tweezers and place your butterfly into your glue. And then I just like to get a little bit more out of the jar and just sort of go around. Okay, so this is the finished look and I am very, very happy with my butterfly, my blue butterfly encapsulated glitter nails. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. Just remember, till next time, I love you all. And once we hit at that 100 subscribers, there's going to be a big giveaway. So stay tuned for that one. And spirit figures. Okay. So <laughs>